Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Bloodborne on the PS4. In the last video, we uh, went through Bergenworth, not a big area, but we went through there, and we killed uh, Mr. CD-ROM himself, the big old fake spider. And so this time, we're going to be going through Yahargo. Um, which will be interesting, I assure you. Uh, first, we're going to be heading back to Yosefka's clinic. Because now there's something more we can do there. So, a, there's a very good chance that uh, my commentary will cut out at some point. I have to keep kind of a vigilant eye on the other screen to see if it goes out. Because I think I need a new microphone. Okay, so... We have to go back around. All the way to the, uh, the side entrance. And then we're gonna... We're gonna kill Yosefka. And then we're gonna kill... Fake Yosefka. If you know what I'm saying. Weird noises. Just weird noises. Kind of sums up the game, really. So we're gonna go over here, and if this little blue creature is not on the operating table, then shit. I think I think that's hmm. Again, I haven't done this before. I just came through here and I slaughtered everything. Uh, well, I mean, we can go kill fake Yosefka. Oh, well, maybe this is different. Oh, yeah, look at this. There we go. So that's fake Yosefka, who uh, dropped, <laughs> when she died, a one-third of a great one umbilical cord. So yeah, not not a normal lady. Normally, I guess if you come over in this section before you kill CD-ROM, uh, she'll talk to you and say you have to, you know, get the hell out of here, bullshit like that. And then if you just keep going forward, she'll fight you, and she fights a lot like that, uh, that girl that we fought in Bergenworth and uh, you don't get uh, the the umbilical cord if you fight her before Rom this is the real Yosefka who's been turned into that shit so you can kill her I was mistaken you can kill her at any time you get you get her blood vial Okay, so now we have two-thirds of the umbilical cord. So technically, at this point, I mean, our our certainty of getting the final true ending is pretty much uh, guaranteed because you get, um, you get another piece from one of the bosses. And you only need three of the four pieces, so we're all good at this point. You can get the fourth piece from uh, Ariana uh, when she 
when she finally gives birth, if you kill her baby, apparently you get a piece of the umbilical cord. Which is really weird. Alright, so... Yahargle. Yahargle proper. I mean, just the fact that they designed this shit, it's just crazy. They need to make a movie out of this shit. Ugh. It's disgusting. Also, uh, all these enemies hurt a lot. A lot. But now we start to get bloodstone chunks, so. Blades of Mercy plus nine are not too far off. Down there is over where the shortcut will be. We are not in possession of the shortcut. Technically, we don't really want to fight any of these guys because they will just respawn. I don't know if I want to run past. Oh. You can see uh, the big big spider thingy it has that blue vortex ability obviously you don't want to get caught in that so you don't want to fight on the, uh, the steps we wish to run past the steps okay now if we go up here and we kill this bitch and then everything dies. Well, everything that had already died once and had been respawned will die. It's, they're being reanimated by her bell magic. So you can't kill them all once and then run to the bell lady. Kill them again. Either way. The, when I first came through here, I didn't really, uh, didn't really realize the whole bell thing going on. So yeah, I had some trouble. Bolt damp blood gem, another crescent gem, which is kind of useless to us. Grab bolt paper, okay, I, if I would have known, I wouldn't have grabbed it. Eat bullet, foul creature. Oh, I don't have a bullet. Hold on, do I have a gun anywhere? I, do I own a gun? Shit, that will never reach. All right, you're, damn it. You're spared the bullets. But now we run into an issue of I have to drop down on this party. Yeah, so it's the uh, it's the old witches from Churro Lane, but now they respawn and they do more damage and they have more health. Just kind of an all-around good stuff going on. There, I killed them. We're all done. Ha! Okay, there is a bell lady around here. I believe you have to drop off a ledge, and I don't think it's near him. It's wherever they respawn from, basically. I just don't know where that is. Okay, it has to be from over here. Ugh, I love that shower of blood. Like you can hear the ringing. She doesn't really pinpoint anything. Another chunk. 
Much appreciated. Oh no, I guess it must be over there. I have no idea where the bell lady is. Nor do I much care, because this is the more immediate concern. Yeah, yeah, there's kind of like a... Like a Van Halen show going on in front of my face, but there we go. Oh, you bitch! Uh, uh. Unfortunately, the bell ladies won't respawn these things. If I could throw something at you. Actually, I could. Bullshit! Bullshit. Alright, so the bell lady is... Well, there's these two dogs right below you. The bell lady is right over there. So we are going to have to kill the dogs. Thus. For some reason, I didn't want to grab that. Never mind why. I thought that would have done more damage. Okay. Since I'm sure you're oh so curious as to what this item is, we'll go back around. There you go. It's a frenzied cold blood. Are you happy? Eight blood vials. Can't complain about that. And then you open this door and... Oh, remember this area? Whoa, remember this? That we kind of skipped completely, more or less? Well, we ran through it a lot. Um, yeah, so now there are different enemies here. There are, like, these guys. They have, like, claws. Yeah, I actually have no interest in fighting them. There's also some other stuff. Probably gonna die here, by the way. Yeah, forgot about that guy. Also, we haven't even killed the bell lady yet. Hold up. It's like, like, yeah, he's got a cannon on his arm. You want to see him use it? Because I sure don't. Stuck in a pattern, stuck in a pattern, stuck in a pattern. Sure. Don't mind if I do. 20 bullets. Well, there you go. And then there's one of those things there, and there's all sorts of bullshit. This guy is still bugging me. It's like, get a life, man. Like, I'm getting shot at. I'm gonna die. You think that's the life I want to leave? Uh, uh. What, did he run into the fire? How did you run into the fire? Ooh, that was good. That was that was cinematic. I like that. <sighs> More blood drags. 
Yeah, that, that down there, down by the road, yeah, that can go fuck itself. Completely. 100%. That'll send that off. Actually, I think that's a short, I mean, that's, I think that's a short, I mean, we know it's a shortcut. Um, I meant more in a different sense. There's a roll you gotta do, I believe. Not there, not there, that, that was, that was it. Ow! Where did you come from? Ow, and he calls me Kawhi, and that's what you... Duh. Okay, so now we're kind of above all the bullshit. <sighs> what the hell? I was admiring the freakish Eldritch Abomination. Yeah, you I'm ready for. Yeah, so this is a little shortcut you can go. You can do stuff. Oh, hello. Get back here. Yeah, never miss those. And then if we go in here. Yeah, I'll admit I had no idea that this existed um, until like today, when I was uh, I was watching a video of a speed run and they utilized this, and I was like, "Well, hot damn! What is going on, Bell Lady? Think I'm gonna tolerate your shit?" Ugh. Just die. Okay, so now we're up here. And... Our destination is... Over there. So I guess we're gonna go down this... I didn't... I didn't pay full attention to the speedrun. I don't know what happened in between this and the boss fight. But I assume... You go this way. It's pretty much just a straight run. Yeah, basically a black hole just took a shit. If you were wondering. That's exactly what it looked like. Yeah, so that's the one reborn. And apparently, you can go up on the... If you don't go and kill them up there, they will continually rain fireballs down on you. Now, when I did my first playthrough, I had no idea you could go up there. I just thought you had to deal with them shooting fireballs the whole time. It only took me two tries to beat the boss. If you can believe that shit. 
Um, but then again, I watched the speed run and he took the time to actually kill them, so I guess it's important. And you can get bullets. So it's very um, Tower Knight, I guess. I mean, technically, yeah, you can beat the Tower Knight without uh, killing the archers, but... Why would you do that? Get on. Alright, so now we fight the One Reborn, which is a really grand title for basically a piece of shit. And, uh, he fights like a piece of shit. Uh, we could do a visceral attack on his face. But I think it's more damage to just keep the combo going. And, uh, he'll occasionally flail his limbs and drop shit on you, like that. But if you basically, you just stand here, you heal through his crap, and you just wail on his little midsection, it's a really easy boss. Again, I did it with all the fireball ladies on my ass. I guess don't get cocky, because that happens. I said don't get cocky when that happened. That was good timing. <sighs> Why did I, I, I think I stopped, I was like, oh, I'll just heal real quick. I should have just swung one more time. Oh boy, have I one-shotted any boss? Oh no, I one-shotted Cleric Beast. Oh, and Blood Starved Beast. And Amelia, I did Amelia one shot. That was good. Um, oh, Shadows of Yarnum, I just did in one shot. Okay, so you know it's a hit and miss. We really have no interest in wasting time, so. Ow. Was that there before? I ain't interested. know where I went. Again, we're just using we're using speedrun strats. I don't really like this area. For personal reasons. We could do it without killing the, the fireball ladies, but I think it might actually take longer as I have to spend a lot more time healing. So I think we'll pass on that. I just have to not be a re re retarded. I have to not be a retarded when uh, fighting the guy. Or doing that shit. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a slightly harder fight than Tower Knight, sure. That's not saying much. I almost jumped off the ledge. That would have been crazy. 
All right, shall we put on a uh, beast blood pellet? Those are yummy. What are you doing? You're such a weirdo. Also, The One Reborn is the potential sequel to The One, starring Jet Li. Nah, I made that up. That would be crazy, though. Ow. Ow! I say ow! Alright, enough of your bullshit. Alright, 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 alright. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna transform. I'm gonna transform, mommy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no! I was so close to transforming. I don't. And nothing happens, by the way. I think there was a lot of talk way back of you becoming a werewolf or something like that, but no, that doesn't exist. Then you run up here, and I thought this was really badass when I first did it, because you walk past all these guys with cages on their faces. And this guy, I mean, who put the who put the candles right in front of this guy? That's not comfortable. And just look at this, look at the detail in this room, it's crazy. It's real creepy. Inspect a mummy. Now we're in the lecture building, which is, you know, much more like an actual school. We'll head back. Yeah, so for a moment, if I can show you, if you look out uh, into the wilderness, it does, you know, it's reminiscent of Ash Lake. Um, but apparently all those other pillars are other hunters' dreams. Like, very similar to what we have here. That's what I've heard. I mean, I guess it's possible. I don't know what else they'd be, but it's cool. And also, if you can just take a look at, like, look at this just scenery that we got going on here with the moon. Like, man, that's gorgeous. God damn. Okay. So we can upgrade our blades, I think, one more time, potentially. Yes. Okay. So... Yes, 102 to 108, 51 to 54, so on and so forth. Done. Next time we upgrade, we'll go to B scaling with Arcane. Okay. No, no, no. I don't think we have anything better at this point. We didn't really pick up much. Hargle. Nope. Did pick up a ruin. Claw mark strengthens visceral attacks by 10%. We don't do too many of those, surprisingly. Yeah, so I guess we'll stick with I. Because whatever. And we can go to the insight merchant. Not that I have anything I really need to buy. Sure. Sure. I was very lit. 20. And we'll go. I like even numbers. 
So now we can try out this, um... Summons Wrathful Spirits, shall we? Nope, I forgot it's a square button. There you go. I, I, like, broke my finger or something like that. That was weird. Well, we'll test that out on an enemy. Perhaps one in the lecture building. Uh, no. Oh, no, I think it's, it's the fourth one. All the way at the end. Okay. So here we have our enemies. Well, that was unimpressive. Beast Roar is better than that. Something launch and goo at us. You're still alive? Oh no, you're a different one. Where the hell did you come from? I don't know. What you got in here? Uh, for the record, I really didn't explore this place at all my first time. I don't know why. Like, I think I, like, well, I'll show you. Ugh. I went out an exit. I went out a door. And it goes to a different area, like, completely different area. And I just never came back here because I kept on going. So, that can happen. What is going on there? Uh, ectoplasm. What you say, what you say, what you say. Oh. Ah. How about we stop with the whole slime? This ain't Nickelodeon. Two of you assholes. Ah, uh, uh. I'm gonna have to farm. I'm gonna farm some healing vials after this. We're gonna get back up to 99. So this guy over here. This will be interesting. He's got flaming hands, because why not? It's cool. Also, I can't see shit. If he hits me, it's going to hurt. FYI. You probably already assumed that. Yeah. Ow! I just love how you get, you know, you and enemies just get thrown into shit. It's so cool. And I'm very bad at this game. Nope. I thought this was like a great sword for a minute there. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, for some twin bloodstone shard. Brilliant. This is the door I went out of, which is very ominous looking, and it's kind of... I think it might even give you a prompt when you open it. It's like... Yeah, it's gonna go somewhere you don't want to go, but I, I went through. The Nameless Moon Presence beckoned by Lawrence and Associates. Pale Blood. That's an interesting note. The Moon Presence... Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's nameless. At least some people think they have a name for it. 
three third chords. Yeah, so that that's the umbilical chords. Uh, I actually am gonna end the video here. Sudden uh, bout of nausea for some reason, probably from all this slime. Look, I can't even. Don't I have? The, yeah, here. So we're gonna finish up the lecture hall next time, and then we'll go out to that very ominous-looking door, and we'll explore what that's all about. Uh, it's it's ominous, I assure you. But you know, we're in the we're in the final leg of the game, so good stuff. My name is Mang. Gaming and watching is Bloodborne. I'll see you in the next part.